The coronavirus pandemic caused tourism to drop in 2020, but tourism leaders are hoping for a strong rebound this year. And joining me live right now from Starkville is Paige Hunt, who is now the director of the Greater Partnership of Starkville Development. How are you doing? I'm doing well, doing well. Happy to be back home in Starkville as director of tourism. <laughs> now, Paige, I have to tell our viewers we have yes. been friends for over, wow, 10 years or so. We actually oh. met in Greenwood where you put Greenwood on the map, and you have to tell our viewers exactly what you did. We, uh, we had a lot of successes in Greenwood, but probably what's most well known by the viewers here is we helped recruit The Help, the movie The Help, to film in Greenwood. So. As a matter of fact, they're still doing tours of locations that were used, and Viking Cooking School does a cooking class, and we did a lot with the blues music scene. We helped uh, celebrate Robert Johnson's 100th birthday. I loved my time in the Delta and loved getting to, I'm glad I'm still connected with my friend Tanya from that time. <laughs> now, Paige, so of, as you know, the tourism industry took a really huge hit last year because of the coronavirus right. uh, pandemic, and we're still in the middle of that pandemic. What do you plan on doing? What are some of the ideas that you guys are coming up with to be able to get the re, uh, tourism in Starkville up and running again, so to speak? Well, you know, we're, we're very blessed here in Starkville. Smaller communities have fared uh, better for tourists uh, than our larger cities just because folks feel safe. We have a, a dedicated alumni base that's a, that's a built-in tourist attractor. And, you know, the destinations in Mississippi have really come together and worked with each other to figure out best practices for recruiting visitors. We've promoted all of our safe, socially distanced activities from, from visiting our, our shops and restaurants in, in our downtown and, and Starkville area to, to our outdoor attributes like the Knoxville National, National Wildlife Refuge. So we've really worked hard to promote the things that are safe for visitors to do. And, and our hotels are working diligently to make sure that they're using best practices and are, are doing the most to keep their spaces clean. But we're really promoting Starkville as a destination. And, and we know that there are precautions that folks need to take and, and want to take. But we want folks to know that Starkville is safe and open for visitors. Now, um, earlier this morning, you sent me the Star Report. I was actually kind of surprised to see that when you look at the hotel industry, uh, Mississippi actually only lost, like, what, minus 19 percent of business right. during the week of December 12th. And that is actually good news because it's still leading the southeast region when it comes to the tourism industry. Right. So th those figures that I sent you are uh, cumulative for 2020. So um, unfortunately, Mississippi hotels were down uh, across the board about 19 percent in occupancy. But compared to our neighbors in uh, Alabama, that was down 34 percent. Florida down 43 percent. Um, Tennessee was down 37 percent. Um, so while everyone is down, Mississippi fared the best out of all of our southeastern states. So we're proud of that. And we think it has a lot to do with the fact that we came together to to talk about those best practices. Our legislature was instrumental in providing CARES Act funding uh, back in uh, the spring for marketing our destinations uh, mm -hmm. during the pandemic, and we appreciate their leadership. So it's a lot of different things coming together that, that contribute to that overall number being, being bad, but not as bad. All right. Well, Paige Hunt, thank you so much for joining us here on WTVA 9 News at noon, and we look forward to having you as a guest, as always, in the future. Thank you, Tanya. Well,